Once you've placed dimensions into drawings, you may want to change how they look and where they're located. Just like all other entities in NanoCAD, dimensions have grips, and the grips let you manipulate how the dimension looks. There's a pair of grips on either end of the dimension line, and those let you move the dimension away from and closer towards what's been dimensioned. Then there's a pair of grips at the ends of the extension lines, and those let you relocate the length of the dimension, and you end up with a different size. Let me undo that. And then finally, there is the grip on the text that lets you move the text. So if you move the text into the middle of the dimension, NanoCAD automatically removes a portion of the dimension line so that the text is fully visible. When you move the text further, NanoCAD automatically adds a leader. NanoCAD normally draws arrows, what's considered to be the inside of the dimension. But if you want them on the outside, select the dimension, right click, and then choose Flip Arrows. The arrowheads are now on the outside. This works with arrowheads, as well as other types of dimension arrows, such as these slashes. So I flip those as well. Now when a dimension crosses several lines in the drawing, it can be easier to visualize things if you could break that dimension line. This dimension crosses several drawing entities. So I'm going to select the dimension, right click, and choose Break Line. Now it asks for the first point, and that's the first point on the dimension line, not on the entity. So I'll pick a point here, here, press spacebar to repeat the command, to click here and here. Press Escape to unselect the dimension. The drawing looks a lot cleaner now. When you want to undo the broken lines, select the dimension, right click, and choose Unbreak Lines. It's that. The Properties panel is one of the most powerful aspects of NanoCAD, and when it comes to dimensions, it's no different. Let me select this horizontal dimension. In the Properties panel, we see a whole host of properties that are assigned to dimensions. Indeed, dimensions are the most complex entity in NanoCAD when it comes to properties. I'm going to close the sections that we're not interested in, and let me show you just a few of the properties and how changing them affects the dimension. Scale changes the size of it, so if I switch to 2 to 1, the scale-dependent elements of the dimension are now half as big. That's the arrowheads and the text. Let me reset that. You can change the value, but be careful. Fortunately, there's a field down here called Real Value, which alerts you that, yes, 4420 millimeters is the actual length. If I change it now to 2210, the Real Value field turns No to warn you that that is an incorrect dimension have a prefix on it. You could write something like length equals and you see the prefix there in front of the distance. The suffix, let me add millimeters and you can have a second line of text with every dimension. For example, a description. I'll add in the word bearing wall. Dimensions don't have to have the arrowheads that are the default. You can change them. So for example, here's a closed fill one and each dimension can have a different arrowhead at either end. So let me pick a round one for the other end. You can determine whether you want the dimension lines on or off, so I'll turn off the first one just to show you what it looks like. And so that part of the dimension line is now missing. You can change the color of the dimension line. Let me turn it red. Similarly, you can turn extension lines on and off. So I'll turn this one off, and you see now that it's no longer there. Similarly, you can change the color of the extension lines, give it different line weights, and so on and get to the text section. Here's a useful one. You can give it a background color for the dimension text, and I've given it a yellow. Naturally, you can change the height of the text. Here you can rotate the text if you want it at an angle. The last item under text tells you the text override, and that shows that we added the prefix of length equals, suffix of mm, and the double angle bracket simply refers to the value of the dimension itself. It acts like a placeholder. The last section I'll show you is primary units, where you can change the decimal separator. In Western countries, tend to use a period for a decimal. We can adjust the rounding. You can if there's leading zeros and trailing zeros, you can have those suppressed as well. Mm -hmm.